When dynamic lighting is turned on with daylight mode, your map will be illuminated with light, but a token's line of sight can still be blocked. This option is perfect for game masters that don't want to light every room, but want player's line of sight to be blocked with walls, obstacles, or barriers. To turn this feature on, click the blue page toolbar icon at the top right corner of your screen, and then click the page settings cogwheel next to the page you'd like to use daylight mode on. A pop-up will appear. Click the dynamic lighting tab. We covered setting up your page and your tokens with dynamic lighting in a previous video, so all you have to do now is make sure dynamic lighting is on and turn daylight mode on. You'll now see your map is completely illuminated, but our player's line of sight is still obscured by surrounding barriers and walls. This is perfect if there's parts of the map that you've already blocked off on the dynamic lighting layer. Okay, but maybe you wanna quickly draw and darken areas on the map while you play. Easy. Go over to the left toolbar and hover over the eye tool. Click hide area and the rectangle tool. Now you'll be able to hide parts of the map to your players by dragging squares. It's important to note that these dark areas will not cast more shadow or restrict your player's movement. These hidden areas we just made act more like casting shadows, while the objects built on the dynamic lighting layer act more like physical barriers. We'll go over that in another video though. Great. Now let's say we like our new darkened area, but we want to reveal a specific area, like this pathway here. Go back to the toolbar on the left-hand side. Click Reveal Area, and for this example, instead of dragging rectangles, we're going to make this more precise. So go ahead and click the Polygon tool. Go ahead and begin left-clicking points on the board to make a unique shape. No need to drag the mouse here. Just make points. When you're all done, there's no need to close up the shape at the starting point either. Just right-click. Perfect. We've successfully cleared this pathway for our players. It's important to note that this tool will not reveal or change the properties of barriers on the dynamic lighting layer. You'll have to go into that layer to make those changes. Now, if you want to reset the entire page, go back to your toolbar, make sure permanent darkness is selected, and press Reset Permanent Darkness. You'll get a confirmation pop-up and click Reset Fog. Great, everything is clear and illuminated again.